Hello my dear viewers and welcome to another video here on my YouTube channel. Today is Friday, it's the fourth day of our vacation here in Paris. Today I got up early at 7 o'clock and yeah, I feel really good. I slept very well. Tonight it was raining a lot and uh, it's very cozy if you're lying, laying in bed and you listen to the rain and there was this thunderstorm that was good and I, like I said, I slept very well. So today we have a lot of plans and um, yeah, yesterday I forgot to film the intro and the outro of the video. So I do this today first. I have got a fresh cup of coffee here. Well, it's instant coffee, but better than no coffee in the morning. So this is on your health I'm drinking. That's funny, my daughter just said, you are my new alarm clock because of the intro, you know. Hello, my new viewers. Uh, welcome to another to a new video here on my YouTube channel. And <laughs> she heard that and yeah, that are the funny things. Now we are planning the day, what we will do today with the help of this map. It's a very easy. So I have got this big map over here. And then I have here the map from the metro stations, from the, from the underground. And yeah, here I have the book with all the it, um, information about the city, where to go. And then, um, yeah, I look here on the map where we live and how far away um, the things are that we want to see. And I've, this is a good way because on the screen of my cell phone or on my smartphone, I cannot um, see everything. You know, such a big map, it's, you, you have a better orientation. So for me, this is the best way. I look on the map with the help of the book, where are the things I want to see. For example, um, the Eiffel Tower is over here. We are over there and then I look here on this map with the tube, okay, how can we get there? And then in the city, when we are walking in the city and, and I want to find something, I'm using, for example, Google Maps or here um, the, the app from Apple. And yeah, this is, the orientation is absolutely fantastic. On the way to Chinatown, here in Paris, uh, there is a part where there are a lot of Asian shops and restaurants. So for lunch, we went into a restaurant with food from Vietnam. And I like Asian food very much. And I was studying the menu and I decided to drink a jasmine tea. What I liked was that they were using whole leaves here and my starter was uh, some uh, rolls stuffed with salad and shrimps and pickled mango or cucumber. I don't know exactly. And um, they were very tasty. There was a dip also. This dip was like a sweet vinegar. And yeah, I dipped it and then I tasted it and it was absolutely delicious, fresh and light, very healthy food. The restaurant was very tiny. My daughter, she went for the tofu and rice. And here you can see some salad. Because for the main dish, I ordered a soup with a really tasty broth. In this soup, there was um, fried tofu and meatballs and coriander. Oh, I like this very much. Then we went to another part of the city, to the street Rue des Rosiers. 
and there are many tiny shops, designers, artists and um, it is a very quiet area. There are in the streets no cars allowed so you can walk there very slowly and there's a, bake, a Jewish bakery. I bought some special Shabbat bread in there because it was Friday. So at the end of the video I will read you a psalm. Here you can see the little coffee. We were sitting in there. I was drinking uh, something and yeah, just watching the people walking that that are walking here on the street it was very interesting. The coffee is quite expensive in Paris in some areas. This coffee was four euro fifty, and here you can see the Shabbat bread. This is. Um, in Germany we eat this kind of bread at Easter time and yeah now I will read the psalm for you and I wish you all the very best thank you for watching take care stay healthy see ya goodbye psalm 133 a song of decrees of David behold how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity it is like the precious ointment upon the head that ran down upon the beard, even Aaron's beard, that went down to the skirts of his garments, as the dew of Hermon and as the dew that descended upon the mountains of Zion. For there the Lord commanded the blessing, even life forevermore.